fantastic weekend, uh, just driving around Miami, have some errands to run, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys, um, and, uh, just know, I mean, just know that your gut never lies to you. I mean, if there's one thing that I can take away from all my experiences being around, you know, narcissists and psychopaths and sociopaths is that your gut just does not lie to you. It'll tell you that this person is completely full of shit, that they're trying to con you and use you and, you know, don't care about what happens to you and, um, do to, are not looking out for your best interests. So, it's like really all of these, um, these indicators that go off, like these alarms in our gut are there, uh, you know, for a reason and, and we do feel them when they're, we're around these individuals. Um, I definitely think that, you know, there's a lot of, um, spiritual components to this. Um, and I think that, you know, um, it, there are a lot of ties with, you know, evil, as I've said in some of my other videos. Um, and I... I just, I mean, this is like not just psychological warfare that they're waging against us, but it's also spiritual warfare. And it, I know some people don't talk about this on their channels, um, but you know, like in all honesty, it's like what happens is, um, you know, one narcissist tries to destroy you and um, everything, and then it just seems like. Um, you know, there's another one that just swoops into your life randomly, whether it's at work or somewhere else, and it's like just basically some, um, another dead empty meat suit, it's like this thing, this spirit, this Jezebel, whatever it is, um, occupies another dead empty meat suit that comes after you. I mean, it just, it's absolutely lunatic, I mean, it's lunacy, it's insanity, and, um, you know, I, sorry guys, I have an itch in my eye, but, um, it just seems that what we're up against is not just evil, it's, it's just, I know it's hard to explain, but, um, sorry guys, I'm just gonna move a little bit for here, there's someone behind me, but, um, you know, I know it's hard to explain, but, um, it's basically just, it's something, and I know everyone is having the same experiences, it seems. I mean, you know, once you get rid of one narcopath, then it's like another one swoops right in, whether it's at work or somewhere else. And it's like they may even be from the same town or the same city. Um, it's just a really sick coincidence, and it's really disturbing. But I really do think, uh, you know, certain individuals, like ourselves are being targeted for a reason and I do think that you know this thing whatever it is it's it's occupying these people these bodies you know who are these dead empty meat suits and um, you know once it it's like when the spirit occupies a narcissist it's like they're um, you know a dead empty vessel basically they're, they're, they look human, but they're not human. They're just a dead, empty vessel that this thing, this spirit, is occupying. Um, and it's really disturbing. Um, so, guys, uh, I really, you know, um, I mean, this battle, it's it's going to keep going on. I mean, it just seems like it's endless. I mean, this has been going on in my life now for like, over, I mean, 15 years, it's just, it's ongoing, um, and, I mean, I want to say, actually, since birth, because since birth, I've been, you know, targeted by narcopaths, um, so there has to be a reason for it, and I do think it's because, you know, the path that we are supposed to be on is one of, you know, uh, enlightening others on this subject, um, you know, spreading knowledge about narcissists and narcissistic abuse, I do really think 
that that is our um, our path in life, and uh, I think that that's that's what's going on, and it's happening for a reason. And uh, it really is like it seems like a path that's being carved for us by God and the other higher powers to try to, like I said. Um, spread awareness and knowledge on narcissistic abuse and um, just uh, not only help ourselves, like help heal ourselves, but spread this knowledge to others that can benefit them. Uh, it's just too coincidental that, I mean, one after the other after the other, it's like, it's more gaslighting by society to say like, Oh, you know, it's just your subconscious, so, you know, childhood wounds and you just have a, you know, a broken picker and all this bullshit, but it's it's not that. It's it's just too coincidental, um, too disturbing that it's like one after the other is just some dead empty meat suit. You know, you get your hopes up. You meet someone new and you kind of think, "Well, like, you know, maybe this could turn into a friendship or more or whatever. And then it just like that individual turns out to be another, you know, um, narco blob or, you know, dead empty meat suit. So it's just really uh, disappointing. And uh, I'm really sick of it. I know you guys are really sick of it. And um, there has to be something else that we can do about it. Um, and it's just really disturbing, I think that, you know, we deserve so much better um, than this garbage, and I really think that um, there is going to come a point in time where, you know, this this has to stop, but yeah, I really, um, I really do, you know, believe that it is evil targeting us. They really want to steal our light and our shine and our uh, vivacity, our positivity, they want to steal it for themselves. And we definitely do emanate a very bright light of hope and positivity for these demon, parasitic, you know, bags of garbage to try to feed off of. I do agree with that, but also it's just, it's just too much of a coincidence. Uh, like I said, that the same people you know, all of us keep reporting the same incident of, you know, someone just kind of um, slipping into a, you know, another body to occupy this thing, this spirit is just slipping into another, you know, dead empty vessel person, so-called human being, and then finding us, coincidentally meeting us, and then trying to sabotage, destroy, assault us. I mean, I just, I just had an incident, um, you know, not too long ago of, uh, you know, being, uh, physically assaulted. I mean, it's just, this shit, uh, this is, sorry guys, I need a drink. Uh, this is, this is very real, and, um, you know, I mean, um, you know, personally, I've had to cut off so many, so many people, you know, uh, cause I'm, I mean, I'm just not going to tolerate anyone who doesn't believe me on this, you know, this topic or tries to gaslight me and say, well, you know, I don't really think there's people who are manipulators out there and, you know, just all these like shitty, you know, um, invalidating, gaslighting things. I don't, I don't have any tolerance or patience for it anymore. And I've cut so many people off and I really don't give a damn. I mean, me personally, I know how to, you know, adapt in life. I mean, I'm very adaptable. I know how to adapt myself to any situation. I mean, I've, I've backpacked all over India alone. I've, I've got, I mean, you name it, I've done it. I've, I've, you know, gone to Nepal. I've been in the Himalayas alone. I've done all this stuff on my own. I've managed to adapt. I've managed to survive no matter what the circumstance in my life. And I know that I'll be able to survive this, but it's just, I, you know, I really know that I can get through, you know, um, this circumstance in my life by cutting off, you know, um, 
shitty, invalidating, possibly covert narcissist out of my life because it's just, I really don't have time for that. You know, you don't have time for that. And um, whatever, you know, agenda they have or like whatever, you know, judgment they need to pass on me for, for this and if they don't want to believe me, that's fine. I, I don't need anyone to believe me. But um, I know that, you know, there's a community of you guys out there, of survivors that have been through the same things that I'm talking about on my channel. So that's all the validation that I need. And, you know, I don't need, uh, like I said, anyone in my life who tries to um, argue with me about this or tries to say that I'm wrong or, you know, tries to gaslight me and say like, well, I don't think you really are experiencing what you, you know, it's what you're experiencing. It's just, I mean, it's just horrendous, but um, I know that we can get through this. Um, together and uh you know i i know i know from my what has been reported to me by a lot of you guys um it's, it really is the same story i mean no matter where you're located in the world you could be here in miami where i am you could be uh in bangalore india you could be in china you could be anywhere and it's like the same story is coming out of your mouth this dead empty meat suit uh, full of demonic energy, you know, targeted me, stalked me, harassed me, um, love bond me, uh, infiltrated my life, and then attempted to devalue and destroy me. I mean, it's really all the same story across the globe. Um, and at the same time, they were doing this to you. Uh, they were trying to play the victim and say that you were doing it to them. It's really disturbing and sick. And I can really see nowadays why a lot of people are opting to go their own way um what is it like there's the, the big town movement um there's a lot of the, like the me too movement um you know feminist women going their own way opting out of relationships opting out of marriage opting out of having kids because honestly it, it in this in these circumstances where uh you know there are just so many narcissists out there narking and targeting individuals it just it really makes a lot of sense to go that route because, uh, you know, you could be with someone, even if you are well studied in psychopathy and narcissistic abuse, um, you have your PhD in it, like, you know, Dr. Robert Hare, who's, who's a world renowned expert on psychopathy, you could uh, be any of those and still end up in a possible relationship with a covert narcissist who manages to really craft their mask uh, to be believable and then you know a couple years down the line you're with them and they pull the mask off and then what it's just it's just too much of a uh, a risk I think um, you know because there are I mean there's not a lot of them most of them give themselves away with the red flags right like the uh, the gaslighting in the beginning or the triangulation or the invalidation or the uh, devaluing I mean most of them give themselves away um, it's just, it's just sub are able to hide it longer and really are better at it. So that, that's the disturbing thing. Though those are the ones that could possibly reel us in and then reveal themselves later and it's too late by then. So I think that, you know, a lot of people say, well, you can't go on continuing to live your life in fear or in resentment or this and that. But it's like when you as a human being, um have been preyed upon literally by an intraspecies predator which is a narcissist uh, when you have actually felt preyed upon i mean attacked violated in the deepest way possible um you know i mean literally preyed upon by your own species well they aren't really our own uh, of our kind they are like a subspecies when you know that these things exist in the world and you've been exposed to it and you've been damaged by it and you've been attacked by them, I mean, your whole mindset shifts. You become a completely different person and um, you become a skeptic. You become, you scrutinize and you start questioning everything anyone ever tells you. You just, which is good because it will protect you in the end. It will help get you out of future situations with narcissists targeting you. It will help you protect yourself absolutely. But in a lot of ways, also, it will hinder your life. It'll, you know, they say ignorance is bliss and knowledge is sorrow. Wisdom is sorrow. Um, but is that true? I mean, 
yes, ignorance might be bliss. You could just keep going through life pretending narcissists don't exist, trying to forget the whole thing, you know, trying to forget what happened to you, even though it's like impossible when you have PTSD, uh, when you suffer with that every day. But, um, but living in that ignorance will only get you harmed in the end. We have to continue to live in our wisdom and our knowledge, um, our newfound knowledge, and uh, continue to thrive in that knowledge because it is a protective measure. It truly is, um, you know, because, uh, sorry guys, there's someone behind me. I think I might need to move again. But um, yeah, we absolutely have to continue to, to live in this, um, you know, knowledge and to live in this truth. And no matter what anyone says, you know, they can't take away that experience that we have with the narcissist, which was especially the experience in which we had happened to get involved deep with a narcissist, like a longer term relationship or where one managed to turn our lives upside down. Like, for example, if they got us to move countries for them or whatever the case may be um, in those situations where it was like a deeper involvement and our whole lives were turned upside down, you know. There's no going back from that garbage. I mean, once that happens to you, it's kind of like, you know, at that point, you really can't be giving anyone the benefit of the doubt anymore. You can't be giving them second chances. You can't be second guessing your own judgment or doubting yourselves. So yeah, at that point, it's like you really need to be, put everyone you meet under a microscope, put everything that they say under a microscope. Do not believe a fucking word that comes out of their mouth unless you actually have proof of it. Because this is what narcissists bet on, right? They bet on people just kind of letting it go and forgiving them and moving on. And just, you know, kind of saying like, well, you know, I may not have proof, but maybe I should just give them the benefit of that, the doubt and just believe what they're saying. You know, if they tell me they're not seeing this person anymore, if they cheated on you, well, you know, maybe I should just believe them and just, you know, forgive and forget. I mean, this is all the things that they really bank on people doing because they know that normal people, unlike them, are able to forgive, they're able to feel empathy for other people, they're able to, you know, move on, and narcissists are not able to move on. They are filled with hatred and envy and contempt, and their whole goal is to just destroy everyone else, sabotage everyone else's life so they can be as miserable as they are. So, um, yeah, the whole goal of the narcissist is that, definitely. Um, and I think that we just need to recognize that and just know that, you know, it's the narcissists that are thin-skinned, it's the narcissists that are hypersensitive or too sensitive, it's not us, you know, and a lot of people go around, you know, they say, like, empaths are highly sensitive people and all this kind of bullshit, but really, it's, yes, we may be in tune with others' emotions and ourselves, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're overly sensitive or dramatic or whatever. Actually, it's the narcissists that are. If you ever try to criticize a narcissist, just watch their whole face, you know, their facial expressions, everything. They just collapse and they can't handle it. And they start, you know, they have this look on their face like it's like a pouting three-year-old with poop in his diapers. I mean, that's exactly, they give you the poopy diaper face look and it's just like really ridiculous like redonkulous and they just like you know they go off and ha throw a tantrum but if they say the same things to you they just expect you to just accept it and just move on and let it go and they'll say things to you like just move on just move on I don't know why you're just moving on you know you just need to move on and it's like well you know you they did the same thing to you they expected you to just move on from it but if you did the same thing to them they're gonna hold that grudge for years and plot and plan and scheme against you to get you back and to hurt you for doing that. So it's, it's just insanity, it's bullshit, mind fuckery, mind games from hell. And we don't deserve this. I don't deserve this, you don't deserve this, nobody deserves this except a narcissist who's the one going around causing all the problems. So yeah, guys, this is definitely uh, a lot you know, deeper and you know, narcissists and psychopaths still go around saying, all the same lines. I mean, I've heard it out of my sister's mouth, who's a psychopath. I've heard it out of so many of them. their disgusting mouths. Um, these abusers, they'll always say things like to you, like, oh, it's not that deep. It's not that, you know, personal. 
but it is that deep and it is that personal and they're full of shit and they're lying to you and they are wrong they are wrong on every level they are wrong and we have to tell them that they're wrong and we have to let them know that we know they're full of shit we know what they are and they're wrong they know they're wrong um that's why they gaslight us that's why they lie to us that's why they play mind games with us because they are wrong and they know they're wrong um, they know what they're doing to you every step of the way. They know when they're uh, trauma bonding you to them. They know when they're love bombing you. They know when they're gaslighting you. I mean, everything they do is a conscious effort. They're fully 100% aware of what they're doing to you, to try and destroy you. So guys, um, I encourage you, please stay vigilant. Stand in your truth. Don't let anyone convince you to just let it go and move on. Um, don't let it be water off a duck's back. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. This shit is real. Um, these empty meat suits are everywhere and they're definitely targeting us. They definitely want our souls. I actually just heard an EDM song on the radio the other day. And, and Miami's really big, you know, for EDM and all this like shitty DJs who play the same, you know, steal other people's work and then mix the same music over and over again. But I actually heard one of those songs the other day. Um, an EDM song about like how they were saying it you know you see a lot of the symbolism like the Illuminati symbolism and a lot of EDM you know artists so-called artists and then one of them the other day was listening to it is like I want your soul and the whole song was like talking about how they want our soul well it's true these fucking bastards these narcissists these psychopaths they really want our soul they want to crush us they want to completely take away our soul and our spirits and our ability to thrive and be happy um, that's really ultimately what they want yeah they want to steal our money yeah they want to rob us financially yeah they want to hurt us sexually and romantically and in all these ways but the main thing they want is to do is make you so fucked up that you don't even know who you are anymore what you stand for you know what you like what you don't like um, they want to see you in that state so that you're not good for anybody else and you were only you know there for them and their needs and was all about them and then when you manage to get free and break away from that they want to make sure you're so fucked up and you doubt yourself so much that you're not good for anyone else that you're not sure you're not really sure you know you don't know really where you stand you don't know what you want you don't know how beautiful you really are you, you just question everything and then you get to a point where you're just like, you know, I don't really know anymore and I'm just not sure. I mean, they really want you in that state so that you're right where they want you. Even if you haven't been around them for a year, years, you know, multiple years, you escape them or they discarded you or whatever the case. Either way, you got away from them. Um, it's just they want you in that state. So, yeah, I mean, we can't stay in that state. We have to show... We have to try to rebuild ourselves and show that we aren't going to let this destroy us, guys. Um, and we have to rebuild and we have to recreate and reinvent. And we can use our creativity. We can use that to help nurture ourselves, our souls, and rebuild our lives. This is something that narcissists and psychopaths don't have is creativity or spontaneity. They're very robotic. Um, and uh, they really don't have the ability to be um, thoughtful or creative or, or resourceful. They don't have those abilities um, like we do. So we can use all of those strengths in us that they targeted, our strength, our resilience, our creativity, everything that they, all of our strengths they targeted in us to destroy us, to use against us. We can use those same strengths in our own benefit uh, to rebuild our lives, to rebuild ourselves, to reclaim our lives, to, to move on, to move uh, upward and forward and to really make a great life for ourselves. We can use all those same strengths to rebuild, guys. So know that the main reason a narcissist or an abuser targets you is your strengths, not your weaknesses, because in no way are you weak. It's the narcissist and the psychopaths that are weak they're weak-willed, they're spineless, uh, they don't have any ability to move on, they don't have any strength in them. That's why they get with you, to rob you of your strength and then take everything for themselves. And when they leave, all of those qualities, when they eventually leave you for someone else, all of those qualities 
those strengths, those passions, those abilities are all the way on that other side of the fence with them when they leave you and they have robbed you of that. They've left you bankrupt um, spiritually, financially, emotionally, um, every way they left you bankrupt. They robbed you and they know this and that's why they keep returning to you. It's like a criminal returning to the scene of the crime. I mean, narcissists, they love a challenge. If they know that you're an expert on narcissists and narcissistic abuse, they'll still target you. I mean, they don't give a fuck. As long as they can get what they want out of you. And they do like a challenge. They do. Um, they like to be able to target someone, even if they're an expert in the field of narcissists. Um, they'll still target you just for the fun of it. Just for the fuck of it. For the challenge. Now, if they were logical, which they aren't, um, they would say to themselves, well, you know... This, uh, this person seems to really know about what I'm all about and what I'm about to do to them. So maybe I shouldn't target them. Maybe I should target someone else who's a little bit more naive and not suspecting of predators out there. But no, they'll still target you because that's how arrogant they are and grandiose. And they really think that, you know, they're so amazing that they can still target someone who knows all about what they are and what they do to people. So it's just really disgusting and disturbing that they're that arrogant. They'll still do that. Which is why a lot of them, you know, they're criminals at heart. Um, they'll do anything. They don't care if they're breaking the law or not. Um, but eventually that will backfire on them. I mean, the narcissists I've known who've stalked me, who've harassed me, you know, I should have at the time reported it to law enforcement. And the next time that it happens, I will do that. I will report their asses to the police and I won't give a damn about what happens to them. You know, whether I work with them or not, I, I'll get justice. I will get justice in the future if anyone tries to target me or stalk me or harass me. I will report them to the police, and I'm not um, hesitant to do that anymore. So, because it's a crime against you. It's a crime against your civil rights. It's a crime against your humanity. Um, so, we need to fight back, guys. We need to start fighting fire with fire and uh, just realize that... Um, you know, the time has come that, you know, we, we've got to start fighting fire with fire from now on. Uh, we can't just, we can't just, um, you know, let this go anymore. So, sorry guys, I gotta move. There's somebody parking behind me. They're being really annoying. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, we definitely, we gotta start fighting fire with fire um, and fighting back against narcissists because otherwise, you know, they're just gonna keep getting enabled by people and society and we can't allow that to happen anymore. We can't keep um, allowing them to get away with this abuse, all right? And if you're with me, please like the video, um, share my video with anyone you can share it with. You never know who this knowledge might help. And please share my videos. I really appreciate all your support, guys. And hope you have a try and have a fab rest of your Sunday. And please... Please don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications for my future upcoming videos. Take care.